What we usually do is uh, when somebody comes in, I usually get the first five minutes, I usually spend chatting to them, right. figure out what level of golf they're at, right. you know, you know, get, get a feel for what I think they're capable of, which is not, which is a massive part of the lesson, you know, because if they're going to be going away from here and they're not able to hit balls on a regular uh, basis, I'm not going to be giving them something that's overcomplicated and right. a hard move. So yeah, let's just get you on camera to start with and see where you're at. Okay, that's it. Good stuff. Badly wrong here. We're blaming Ross, <laughs> Oliver. Be good. Yeah. Let's try one more. I get on camera. Sure. You didn't get that on camera. No, that's the good one. Again, when I'm, you know, when I'm using the camera, it's very important that you get it at about hip hip level yeah, and directly down the hand line. Right. So gives you the best angle. Yeah, it's a consistent view then. Okay, and then one from uh, face on angle too, so we have both the angles. Okay. I'd say that's a fair reflection of my game. Okay, very good. You know, straight, right, um, a little bit of inconsistency, bit of yeah. deviation and inconsistency, yeah, yeah. So what I do is I get them on the camera from down the line and then face on, right. and then I like to look at the trackman numbers and see where the club's coming from and what the face is also doing. Right, sure. And then I usually say to the student is, just give me a couple of minutes, I sit down on the sofa, have a look over the, the videos, and then we, we get the lesson really started. Right, okay, let's do okay. that. Okay, so I've had a pretty good look at your videos. And one thing I would say is we don't really load enough into this right side. Okay. Okay, so that makes it very hard to get our weight going towards the target, which means it results in a lack of distance and a little bit of inconsistency in strike. And then from this view, the down the line view, we see that you get the club coming a little bit too much inside mm -hmm. on the takeaway. Yeah, yeah. And then comes a fraction over the top and the club exits left. So that could result in a little bit of a pull or a little bit of a fadey shot. Which is what we saw, we, we kind of saw both yeah. there. Yeah. And a massive loss in distance really. So what I would be starting with there is, I would be trying to get you to transfer your weight a little bit going back so we can move the weight coming forward. Okay. And try and get the takeaway on a little bit of a better path. Good, okay. Good stuff. All right. Okay, so just get yourself set up. Yeah. We're going to talk through a couple of little positions. Okay, so your tendency is to take the club back too much in the inside and get the face a little bit too close. Okay. okay. So when we get this club back to halfway, halfway being when the shaft is parallel to the ground, we want the toe to be pointing a little bit more to the sky. So a good little checkpoint for you is when the club's halfway back, which is down our toe line, or sorry, when the club gets halfway back and is parallel to the ground, we want that shaft to be directly down our toe line. Down our toe line. With the face a little bit more up. Right. Okay. So let's give it a go. So let's just rehearse it before we actually do it. So show me the position we're looking for. Beautiful, okay? And then we just turn to the top and then let everything go. Okay. Very nice. Wow. We got a nice. Wow. A nice yeah. Trip. Yeah, I mean, not. <laughs> That's a that's a different level of strike yeah. and, and ball flight. And Again, it, it, it doesn't always come that quick, you know. Yeah. Some sometimes people you put them in a position and they feel really out of their comfort zone. Yeah. So a lot of the time that first twenty minutes of the lesson is building confidence in somebody yeah. and telling them not to get too caught up in the ball flight, but worry a little bit more about the position. Yeah. And then come the end of the lesson, we get a little bit more involved in what the ball's doing. Because I it's funny, whenever whenever I got to that sort of whenever I got to there and then to the top of the back so I turned a bit better. I, I didn't actually think anything. I just let it, as you said, I just swung through it. That's good. But there's nothing in my mind. It just seemed to release yeah. more naturally from that position. And again, we see a much better club path, closer to zero, and a really neutral uh, face angle. Yeah. I, again, you know, track man isn't for everybody. 
some kids come in that door who just don't understand the numbers and then you yeah. have some people who are very into the golf swing and into the technology and they all they want to know is where their path is and what their angle of attack is they want to know numbers but again trackman it's not for everybody and we don't we don't always use it